Dell's latest attempt to stay hybrid laptop and tablet is the Dell XPS 12, a tablet and keyboard dock design that has an ingenious semi-folding mechanism, plus a truly laptop class trackpad and backlit keyboard and a top spec screen. So has Dell finally cracked the hybrid formula? Uh, not quite. What Dell has nailed is the design and build of this thing. Constructed from incredibly tough and light magnesium alloy and covered in a matte black soft touch plastic, it looks and feels really nice. The tablet itself is slim at just 12mm thick and it weighs only 790 grams on its own, which is essentially the same as an iPad Pro. With the dock it only rises to 1.27kg or about the same as a MacBook Air. The whole combo is perhaps a little utilitarian looking, but if you're a fan of that classic ThinkPad business-like vibe, then this combo will be right up your street. Both tablet and dock are fairly sparse when it comes to features, but not in a bad way. The tablet has a couple of USB Type-C ports that also have Thunderbolt 3 capabilities. One can be used to charge, while the other can be used with all manner of adapters to connect to just about anything from USB devices to video connections. There's also a microSD slot, which you can either view as an easy way to read files from your camera's memory card, or as a way to expand the tablet's storage. Not that you'll likely need to expand the storage on this top spec model, it's got a 512GB SSD. The entry level model has 128GB. On the right edge is the power button and a Kensington lock slot for securing the tablet to a desk, and on the left is the volume control. A couple of fairly weak but stereo speakers are also hidden away in the top edge of the screen. As for the dock, it adds nothing in the way of extra features, no extra storage, battery capacity or connectivity, it's just a keyboard and trackpad. But when they're as good as this, I'm not complaining. This keyboard and trackpad combo is easily the best on any hybrid, and they're even better than the vast majority of laptops. The keyboard, while a touch compact, has an excellent layout and a decent amount of key travel and a nice defined action. Plus it's even backlit. Meanwhile the trackpad has a wonderfully smooth etched glass surface and excellent tracking, and its click anywhere mechanism is precisely engineered. Both get their power and transfer their data via the gold contacts that sit in the slot at the back of the dock. Drop the tablet in and the two automatically connect. There's no delay while the two wirelessly sync and no extra batteries to charge. Just dock the tablet and away you go. The dock slot also has another trick up its sleeve. Through a combination of magnets and its clever shape, it allows you to close the tablet flat onto the dock like you were closing a laptop. What's more, it works the other way around too, so it's easy to slide the tablet back into its slot. You've got to be a little bit careful not to lift the tablet up completely, and every now and then the tablet doesn't quite nestle onto its gold contacts properly. But once you've got the knack, it's pretty easy to get right most times. There's also a magnetic fabric backed cover that has strategic creases in it to allow it to stay attached while the tablet is docked and upright or closed, and it even works when it's just the tablet by itself. It's a great system overall, though it's a shame the angle of the dock isn't adjustable and that the slot adds such thickness to the overall package. As for the tablet itself, it also has a class leading feature in the shape of its 12.5 inch screen. While a 1080p option is available too, this top spec version has a 4K resolution, that's 3840 by 2160 pixels, making for a very high pixel density of 352 pixels per inch. It also has generally excellent image quality and even boasts 100% Adobe RGB color space coverage, so it's potentially ideal for creative professionals. Indeed Dell is clearly targeting this market just as Apple has done with the iPad Pro. There's even an optional stylus, the storage loop for which is included in the fabric cover. Sadly the stylus wasn't provided for review, so the on-screen drawing experience isn't something I can vouch for. Thankfully this isn't a great hindrance when it comes to judging this tablet overall. That's because for all its design excellence and hybrid potential, it flat out fails when it comes to performance. Ok so the Intel Core M processors that are used throughout the range are ok for light use. If you're just web browsing, writing emails and watching video, they're fine. But if the idea was to target professionals that may be drawing using professional software, then they're right on the limit of performance. Given that the Microsoft Surface Pro range manages to squeeze in Intel Core i processors, I'm slightly baffled as to why Dell didn't do the same. But really, that's only a small part of the problem. The biggest stumbling block of all is battery life. It's simply atrocious. This thing barely lasts 3 hours, with light use and brightness set to just 40%. Working hard on a bright day, this thing will struggle to last a couple of hours. That's just not good enough, no ifs, buts or maybes, it's a total instant failure. Devices like this are, after all, meant to be portable. It's possible the cheaper version with the lower resolution screen has slightly better battery life, but I can't imagine it would be that much better. So while I could discuss how the XPS 12 has potential as a drawing tool, but struggles as a tablet due to running Windows, yet excels as a laptop replacement because it runs Windows, at the end of the day it's almost totally irrelevant in the face of such poor battery life. Were it 4 or 5 hours you're getting somewhere, but less than 3, it's a non-starter. 
So until Dell can revise the XPS 12 and at least double its battery life, I can't recommend it, especially when this top spec version costs £1300.